Okay, let's get started with Bexis Live. Open a web browser and type in bexis.live. That will take you to our landing page for Bexis Live. You can scroll down and learn a bit about features or see a list of our distributors. What we want to do is we want to sign up. Let's, let's create an account. And a little information needs to be collected. Email address. Enter twice, like everywhere else. And then we need to generate, you have to choose a password. It has to be at least eight characters long. You'll need one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one digit. Enter it twice and make sure they match. System will tell you if they don't. You can be sure of that. Okay, so our account's been created, but we have to complete the authentication process. We take our security pretty seriously, and so we go to settings, and we are going to have to verify some information. First thing is the email address, of course. Let's verify the email address that we put in. You can see a little notification here it tells us that we have an email coming, and here it is. Didn't take too long. Like all these things, you click on the link that's provided to confirm that your email address is actually yours. So now you can see our email address has been confirmed. Now all accounts at Bexis Live are protected by two-factor authentication. That means that we need a mobile number so that we can send a text to verify that it's actually you. That is the next step here. You need to add your mobile number. And for hopefully obvious reasons, I am not going to put my mobile number in here. I will pretend. But one thing I do want to point out is that if you're not in North America, you can put in a different country code and put in your number. We are not limited to the plus one. So you will put in your mobile number here, and then there will probably be a recapture window that pops up, so you'll have to verify that you're not a robot. And after you confirm that, then you will get a text with a six-digit code in it, and you plug that into the window that's provided, and we will do that. I will do that for my information. Okay, so now that you have completed the authentication process, you can go over to the general area here out of your settings. If you want to go back to your settings, just click the little icon up here and you will be able to go change your password or change your information. Uh, for now, what we want to do is we want to get some controllers online, right? So the first thing you want to do is probably create a group. Um, we can name it whatever we want and it, you can always change it later. Yeah, whatever. And then within that group, we add a site. Site is the same name for a controller. It's a little bit easier than saying controller all the time. But what you want to do is you want to pick your controller from the list. And then you're going to need a serial number on, and authentication code. Um, we've got a separate video which describes collecting that information. So if you have any question about collecting your serial number and authentication code, then um, refer to that video for now. I'm going to assume that you have that. And you type in your eight character um, case sensitive. And you give it a nickname. You know, I'm going to call it Bexus 5. You can change it later. And Lickety split that quick, and it is added to your, your groups, your site tree. Okay, so a few things we can do here. First, this is a site tree area, and this is the panel area. You can add more sites by repeating the process. You can add groups, and then we will do a separate video to explain some of the features that you have available. And so Add your sites, add your controllers in, and then check out our other video about how to 
start using Vexus Live and the nice features it'll provide for you.